Hey everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a home decor haul because I may have gone a little crazy with the Memorial Day sales and I bought a lot of home decor. So it's gonna be a fun video. I wanna show you guys everything that I got. And if you're unfamiliar with my haul videos, not only do I show you the product, but I also show you how I style it in my space. So hopefully you can get some fun home decorating and styling ideas from this video. And everything will be linked below in the description box. If I forget to say a price on something or you guys just wanna check out an item for yourself, it will all be linked below. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. Okay, so the first piece that I got was this absolutely gorgeous pitcher. Now I have been looking for a pitcher like this for a really long time. I got this guy for $25 on Amazon and what I use it for is just filling my dog's water bowl. So it's so nice to have this right next to her water bowl, but also it acts as really gorgeous decor out on my countertop. I love how it looks just sitting there and it looks like a styled vintage piece, but in fact, I get to use it every day, which is really awesome. And also I can just pop some really pretty greenery in it and it's instantly a gorgeous vase or a styling piece for a console table or a shelf or something like that. So yeah, definitely a really pretty piece. And I love that not only is it gorgeous, but it's gonna be so functional for me as well. Okay, so the next thing that I found was this gorgeous vintage wood bookend. Now, I got this on a sale. It was $55 for a set of two. The other one is upstairs. It is originally like $75. So I know that that is definitely more of a splurge, but these are the kind of things that I'm personally willing to splurge on. The tag here says, this item is a found vintage object. Each piece is truly one of a kind and comes with its own history. You will notice variations, unique markings, and small imperfections. These attributes accentuate the product's notable beauty and character, which I could not agree with more. And it is crazy because when I received this in the mail, it definitely looks different than the picture online, but I like that. And they do make a note of that in the description that they all are different. So it might not look exactly like the one in the picture, which I like. I like that I'm getting a one of a kind unique piece. This gorgeous distressing in the wood is just not something that you can find in the store. If you look at any designer spaces, they always incorporate vintage, worn, chippy, cracked pieces that just add character to the space. So I'm always kind of scanning for fun, unique pieces that I can incorporate into my space. And I needed some new bookends and I thought that this was perfect. I love that it came in a set of two so I can use one for our upstairs room and one for our shelf styling in our bedroom. And this just really helps warm up a shelf and give it that found vintage feel, which I personally love. Okay, so the next thing that I found was this really pretty planter. And this is actually from Walmart. I just needed some new planters and I was walking through the aisles to actually get some rosemary and I saw these planters and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get those. My old ones were just not really holding up. They got some mold on them. So it was time to replace them. And I love the really pretty basket detail and how they kind of almost appear to be vintage and dirty. Vintage baskets can go for so much money on designer websites. I'm talking like a hundred plus dollars. So the fact that I could get this look for not a lot of money was amazing. They're hard. They're, I, I don't know what they are exactly. Maybe it's like some sort of ceramic or terracotta, but I love that it's a vintagey basket feel with being a little bit more durable. So I got this in two sizes. I got a large one. I think that was like $10 and then the smaller ones were seven bucks. They do have a little drainage hole on them, which is nice. And I'm just gonna use these for our herb garden Garden that's over in the corner of our dining nook. I love just keeping fresh herbs there. It's really fragrant when the sun hits them. It smells nice. And I just love having them there for cooking. They're easily accessible and they kind of double as decor. So I love when you can find a new product that has that old vintagey feel to it because that's really what gives your space character, helps it feel lived in and just that casual elegance. You know, we just wanna all make our spaces feel special. So the fact that we can do that through cheaper products that are new, but they they still have that old vintage feel to them, I think is really great. All right, so the next thing that I found were these really pretty olive stems. Now, I saw these when I was at Magnolia Market at the silos a couple of weeks ago. When I saw these in person, I was like, these look so real. I love how they have like little green olives on them. So they kind of look like they're just budding. They were 14 bucks a stem when I was at the silos and I had limited room in my suitcase. So I was kind of like, mm, 
I'll hold off. And then I got home and I saw that they were on Memorial Day sale for nine bucks a stem. And I was like, all right, it's time. <laughs> we're getting them. So I'm gonna put them in our living room on our little side table in an old vintage inspired pot that I got from at home a while back. And so I'm just gonna arrange them in there. And when I do that, you all know, I love to just use a little glass jar to help give my arrangement some shape, especially if I'm dealing with a pot or a planter that has a wider mouth. It just helps everything look a little bit more organized in there and makes it easy on you to style your stems. So I got five stems total. I think that's a good amount for how thick they are. I like my stems to be a little bit more of a statement. So I like them to kind of stick out and be, you know, tall and twiggy. And these are perfect for that. And I just love the rustic detail that they add to my living room space. All right, so these next couple of pieces are all gonna be from McGann Co. They had their biggest sale of the year, which was 25% off their entire site. So this is where I went a little crazy. So just know everything I got 25% off of. If I do buy from McGann Co., I always buy when there's a sale. So yeah, there are definitely some splurges in here, but I think that they're really great pieces that add character to my styling. So the first piece that I got, I actually don't have here with me because it is so big and heavy Heavy, which because it is so big it was expensive and was definitely the biggest splurge of the haul but it is such a good price for what it is I got this gorgeous handmade looking terracotta planter and it is $208 normally but I got it for like 170 something so I thought that was a really good deal this is actually a very versatile piece which is another reason why I decided to go for it you could just pop it into an empty corner of a living room or an office something where you just need a little bit of extra decor or visual interest this is actually how McGee & Co had it styled when I was flipping through the pictures deciding if I wanted to buy it or not and then I just saw it sitting in the living room next to the couch and I was like that looks so cute why not so it's great for styling you could actually just use it outdoors it is an outdoor planner but what I'm personally going to use it for is to put some of my faux trees in it because it is so tall it really gives me the opportunity to elevate a tree and make it feel a lot more taller and grand than it actually is I love the vintage inspired look of it it looks very rustic which totally fits into my scheme so yeah definitely a really gorgeous rustic piece that can kind of fit into a lot of different decor styles and can have a lot of different uses throughout your space. All right, so the next thing I found were these super pretty woven salt and pepper shakers. And I like how it has the S and the P, so you know, it just cuts out any confusion sometimes when you have the ones that have more holes than the other. It's just like, wait, which one is this? So it's nice to have that clarification. And I bought these for $9 on sale, which was honestly a really good price. I love finding pieces that are practical. They have a purpose, but they also are really aesthetic and elevate your styling at the same time. So these are a piece that guests are going to use. They're a conversation piece, definitely something to, you know, really just warm up the look of a tablescape. And especially for the summertime and summertime gatherings, I just love the warmth that this is going to add. I'm just going to pop these right on our lazy susan so they'll be there part of our everyday styling but also really nice and kind of dress it up a bit all right so the next thing that i found was this really pretty black metal easel and i've had my eye on this for a long time but i finally broke down and got it since it was on sale and i love how this can just take a simple piece of artwork and really elevate it get it because it actually elevates it Okay. I love that you're able to just create a little statement on a console table or a shelf with it. I like that this is a little bit more decorative than just propping your artwork. They do have two sizes and I got the smaller one just because I figured this would fit a lot better on shelves and you know I'm using it for more accent decor anyway so a big one might have just been a little bit too big and this is the perfect size for just you know putting on a little console table or on a side table or under a shelf something like that just you know purely as an accent. It is very sturdy and heavy which is good so if you have a heavier piece of artwork this will definitely hold it and I just like the simple matte black detail of it definitely just a fun little piece to have on hand to play with in my styling all right so a decor piece that I've already talked about before on my channel but I absolutely love and I just keep behind new ones are little pot holders and trivets and I love these because you can just hang them off of your kitchen hardware so they really help soften the look of your kitchen and kind of acts as a little decor piece so I make sure that the ones I buy are really aesthetic and just kind of make my space feel very down to earth so I like that these are made out of woven materials so they really help ground my space and woven materials specifically can really help warm up your space 
space and make it feel very cozy, which sometimes is needed in kitchens because we have very cold, sterile surfaces with stainless steel appliances. And it's just nice to have these fun little accent pieces to warm them up. And I love that they're always just ready to go, hanging off of my hardware. I don't have to mess around with a drawer or getting them out of a cabinet or anything like that. So yeah, I thought these were really special and I'm excited to add them to my kitchen decor. All right, so this next piece is this really pretty aged iron compote is what it's called on the website. And it's $25 before the discount, which honestly isn't too bad. And I thought it'd be really pretty for eventually maybe doing a floral arrangement in. I did a floral arrangement previously with a raised concrete planter that looks very similar to this. This is a little bit smaller, but I felt like it could be nice for just popping some simple greenery in, putting on a mantle or a shelf, or just accenting on you know a coffee table or a console table, something like that. Definitely a very versatile piece. I loved the kind of aged iron look to it. Has that vintage look again, something that I always look for when looking for new pieces. So I figured that this would be a fun one to add to the collection. All right, so the next thing that I found was this really cute little candle snuffer and wick trimmer. Are these necessary? No. Are they cute and aesthetic and will I use them? Of course. So, you know, you can just put this right over your candle flame instead of blowing your candle out and getting soot everywhere. That happens to me sometimes. And then this wick trimmer helps to keep the candle wick from getting too bulky. And you know, sometimes if you light the candle at first, it can fling little pieces of burning wick, which has happened to me several times. So this kind of helps prevent that. And then I also love that they're just really pretty styling pieces. You can just set them on a tray or a book and just just adds that little extra layer of visual interest, which I think is so important in styling. So I got the aged brass color. They do have it in matte black as well. It really kind of has that dull aged look to it, which again is kind of almost the theme of this video. I love it when things just look vintage and lived in. So yeah, these are really sweet details. They can move around from room to room. I love that it says McGee & Co right here on the side. And I don't know, I think that these will be practical, definitely not necessary, but just sweet little decor moments that I can add to different rooms in my home. All right, so the next thing I got was this really cute little mini stone bowl. And it is really small. It was one of those pricer items for the size. I think it was $18 before the discount. But what I've seen a lot of designers style this with is they put salt in it. So it's just like a little mini pinch pot to have out on the counter when you're cooking to just have the salt easily accessible so you can sprinkle it over a boiling pot of water or whatever. Currently, we just have our salt in you know a little shaker and I keep it in our pantry but I think having it out on the countertop it's something as cute as this is just really gonna help give my space a very lived in organic feel which is what I'm going for I just personally love decorating with organic materials like stone linen marble wood and I love that this really helps give my countertop that organic lived in feel so I thought it'd be fun to at least get this and kind of see how it goes especially since it was on sale all right, everyone, that about wraps up this home decor haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my newly acquired items. And definitely, if you're not subscribed, make sure that you are because I post new home decor content every single week. So come and join the family and make sure that you hit the notification bell so you're notified. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help to support my channel. And I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.